Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to a new Let's Play that will be known as No One Expects. Of course, that means we're playing as Castile Forming Spain and doing a couple of extra challenges in the future to make it that much more interesting. But before we talk about those, I'd like to give a massive shout out to the lad known as Chewy Shoot. He's an absolutely brilliant YouTuber. He does a lot of things similar to me, like playing EU4. And if you like the things that I do, you're going to absolutely love the things that he does. Now, without out of the way, let's talk about all of the interesting things we want to do with our Castile run. Obviously, there's Forming Spain, which is very, very simple, very easy to understand. And then we have going for the Golden Century, known as Forever Golden. That's the achievement we're going for. I actually never picked that up, surprisingly, because I've never been interested in going back to Castile for quite a little while. But here we are. Why not? Let's start it back up. Another one we're going for is, I believe, known as España Imperio, which is to own, I believe it is Peru, Colombia, and some other place. Uh, I think it's Argentina down here that we also have to own. I'll, uh, I'll check it out a little bit later. But those are going to be the achievements we're going for, especially just for Golden and uh, España Imperio, which I definitely cannot pronounce correctly, but never mind that. And on top of that, we have a couple of extra sneaky little challenges. Our actual challenge is to own the entire New World, which I know sounds a little bit crazy, but that is going to be one of our challenges, is to knock out all the other colonizing powers, not necessarily by owning them directly, but through actual going to war over the colonies and just taking all of them, because why not? We could go the classic route, just take them out re regularly, but uh, that's less of a challenge route. Let them grow their power and then knock them out one by one in the New World. So that's going to be uh, the main achievement here. And then finally, we're going to have staying Catholic. That's one of the final achievements. Of course, it's called No One Expects, which refers to the Spanish Inquisition. So we're kind of role-playing a slightly historical Spain here, because we're, of course, going to be going through all of their missions, doing all the Spain things that Spain liked to do in real life, uh, which is like, you know, conquering 50% of the New World, more or less, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, roughly that equivalent fraction and doing a lot of colonizing stuff. But that's enough of me rambling. It's probably been already five minutes of me talking about things. So let's actually get into the gameplay. We're going to move our ships over to start in Safi. I believe both of our merchants start off in the correct place as Spain. Yes, they do. Very nice. Our armies are a uh, nine and four. We have a large amount of money, so we might as well bring up those knights a little bit. You have nine, so we'll bring you up to ten. We'll bring you up to ten as well. And I guess we can slap on an extra two here and an extra one here. There you go. Other than that, let's uh, bring ourselves up also to naval force limit because our first mission that we should do here, other than uh, plus ultra and claims an Aragon, of course, we have to do the prepare reconquista, which requires us to have a pretty decent amount of manpower. Kind of odd to have manpower considering the fact that uh, we have to also build our force limit. But it's also kind of doable, not a big problem. Uh, other than that, we have our one leader here. Of course, we'd like to set Enrique de Trastamara to be another leader, because we'd like him to die as soon as possible, and then to be replaced with a new heir. So hopefully someone who's better than him. I mean, it's not that hard to be better than Enrique. He seems to have a couple of problems starting off from the get-go. Next, we also, uh, we're also we also going to rival, of course, England. Burgundy, it's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter if we rival Burgundy or not. We can still get the inheritance. Castile works uh, a little bit differently than most other nations. But I think from the beginning, it doesn't matter much if we were to rival Burgundy. That doesn't do much for us. Surprisingly, um, they actually don't hate us that much. Aragon, which is interesting. I wouldn't mind having an alliance with Aragon. Hmm, because we're going to get the Iberian Wedding in, you know, 9 out of 10 cases anyway. So having them friendly towards us is generally in our best interest anyway. Hmm, okay. Well, France hates us, so we might as well do that. And finally, we could go with Portugal, Morocco, or France. Portugal I might knock out early just because, well, they tend to steal a lot of colonizing places early on. So we might kill them. I don't know if I'll make them a rival or, or whatnot. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I will make Portugal a rival. We're going to knock them out in the early game. Build a spy network, we'll invade Portugal, and then when the truce is up, we'll invade Granada, which will be nice. 
Next we have our estates. Let's deal with those. Grab ourselves the diet or the diet. I'm not still not sure how that's supposed to be pronounced. I was never told. No one ever tells me these things. So I'll just go ahead and assume how it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, it seems the burgers we can't do much with. However, I do know of the fact that over here uh, we can bump it up twice. Now you might be thinking, hey, I know of a place you can bump up once. It's over here. However, gold and gold we don't want to assign an estate to. So over here, we can bump up this twice. Let's go with uh, admin. Let's go with one admin, one military. We're going to bump it up, and we're going to give it to... Oh, come on. To the burgers. Bring them up to 41. Allows us to do a couple of extra things here. Bring them up to 76 and get our little, uh, little diplo amount there. We can also wait a couple of years and grab ourselves quite a bit of money, which will be nice. Speaking of which, we can grab ourselves a couple of a uh, couple of advisors, which will be nice. Let's start off with hmm, none of these guys are really helpful for us. We only have one level one though, so we'll grab him. Next, we have trade efficiency or spy network. Let's go with spy network. We'll be invading Portugal pretty soon, and of course, national manpower modifier will allow us to gain more men per month because it's a percentage of our stuff. So that's nice. Let's go and bring those guys down. We also have our Admiral, who's pretty chill. He's going to go around and uh, collect some trade for us. Bring the rest of the ships down here. You'll go into position... Ooh. Yep, there. And you no, you won't actually, because you need to pick up your troops. Forgot about that. Okay. There we go. Is this the opener we want to start with? Well, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let's also try and gain influence over Navarra. Of course, we could just invade them. That's also 100% true. But I think, uh, am I not supposed to... Hmm, I could invade them, actually. But they often get guaranteed and befriended by a lot of nations, especially France, Aragon, Cas uh, well, I am Castile. <laughs> Aragon specifically as well. A lot of people tend to be better friends with them, and, um, I don't know how quickly we can actually... Yeah, there you go. I don't know how quickly we can actually uh, end up invading them before they ally someone else. So we might as well start off by trying to vassalize them. Hmm. Sometimes France guarantees an ally, sometimes Aragon does. Everyone influences Navarra all the time. Oh lord, what on earth just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Well, that was fast. Uh, apparently we got Personal Union Navarra. That's kind of weird. Um, I don't know what to do with this information, actually. That is an interesting beginning to our Let's Play. Well, hmm. Really, just a few months after it began, we had, we're already at war with Naples and uh, Casti uh, I am Castile and Aragon. Who's on the aggressing side here? Attacker, okay, at least they they don't they can't call in any allies. This is an interesting start, I have to say. Okay. Neither side is really prepared for war at this point. Hmm. If we look at the numbers, we have a slight advantage. Well, let's keep all of our let's keep our ships together in a safe location. Hmm, I didn't expect that. Okay, so we get a free personal union over Navarra. We can use Navarra to expand into France and England. Potentially. That's not the worst thing that could have happened. I would have preferred a vassal, of course, because a vassal would be much faster to integrate rather than the 50 years we're going to have to wait. Hmm. Can't integrate them for another 50 years. Another 50 years, huh? I wanted Portugal to be my early, uh, my early war, but it turns out it's going to be Aragon, and that's going to be interesting. Well, all we need is a white piece with them. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'm gonna wait for them to try and uh, go in. They're gonna go a little bit further than maybe they should. Uh, hmm, a 4 maneuver versus a 3. I don't think I will go into here. We'd get a uh, crossing penalty, would we not? Yes. Let's not do that. We can, however, lock them in, though. 
Kind of. Uh, gonna catch Naples on that. Okay. There goes Naples. Um, okay, interesting. So this is a dry lens. You're gonna get there. Interesting. Let's go in it and uh, see what happens. Not very good rolls to begin with, but after that we got pretty decent rolls. We ended up with a uh, better ratio. Uh, yeah, a better ratio. Fewer losses in general as well. Well, I believe we just have to defend ourselves pretty much. So we don't have to waste our manpower on sieging. Speaking of manpower, I think it would be in our best interest to gain manpower from the nobility when we can. Uh, should I wait a few years for that? Probably. The extra years that I'm going to be losing my uh, manpower ratio, it's going to be a little bit interesting. Don't really want that to end up being a thing. So we'll keep the nobility kind of content for now. Uh, alternatively, actually I think it's a good idea for us to, uh, to use our professionalism to gain manpower. Because it's not as important as just having the manpower right now. Especially when this requires us to have... Oh, are we not full of our force limit? No, another hundred days. Of course, that would make sense. We're not even like... We're hardly even a year into the game. Not even actually. And I guess it takes a little longer than a year for that. You're going to get there on the 9th. I'm going to get there on the 21st. That's a big no. So I guess Aragon's just going to go deeper and deeper into these territories. Interesting choice, Aragon. Oh, we did lose a, quite a few troops there. We do have the uh, roll advantage right now. Not quite right there. Yeah, there we go. That's a good roll advantage. Yeah, so we pretty much just need to defend ourselves. Get a white beast or money, preferably. Doesn't matter if I take their land now or if I get it in the personal union. It's sort of just meh. Either or, really. Well, yeah, they do have... Uh, Juan? I, I have no idea. I'm so sorry. Uh, Juan de Trasamara? I have no idea. And we have Enrique. So they're both, uh, they're both male heirs, unfortunately. Uh, Spy Network and Aragon. Sure, if the pop... If the pop... Yes, if the Pope discovers the plot, then so be it. Let's also go and clean up that Aragon stack. Very nice. Do they have any men left? They do, but I'm assuming most of those are Neapolitan. Don't need your capital. I just need either a white piece or uh, money, like war reps and stuff would be nice. We also want to make sure you're not weak enough for France to be hit by this. Ask for forgiveness. Eh, well, we only have one papal influence anyway. It's not a massive hit. It's not a big problem. Well, hello there, Naples. Well, they aren't medium. They'd be willing to accept a piece. I really only just want money. That's it. All the money that we lost in this war is what I want. Of course, manpower would be nice. That's not really something you can take, though. Let's see if we can get here really quick. Deal some damage. And finish this war, please. Oh, we didn't get very many good rolls there, but it is what it is. Aragon is at high. Uh, length of war. Oh, I don't know what happened there. You guys, for some reason, went back to high from medium after a battle. Hmm. Explain that one to me, huh? Weird. Oh, now they're at medium. Oh, you think you're going down here? Okay. Let me, let me change your mind, I guess. So you won the battle against Navarra. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, our manpower is not, not doing very well. We could, of course, I don't know, exploit development if we wanted to. That doesn't seem worth it, like, ever, so we won't, but in theory, if we really wanted to, then sure. We still have that truce with Granada in any case, so. Oh, let's calm down for a second. Enrique and the Galician people. Hmm. Enrique becomes Galician. And your claim strength goes down. Well, I really did want you to die anyway. But if you don't die, that becomes even more of a problem. Let's take the gamble. Let's take the gamble. If he dies, everything works out pretty perfectly for us. And if not, then we'll... Yikes, so... Are you gone? Are we really playing this game? Really? too high. How about some more reps? This is all I really want. I'm just waiting for you to get to medium so we can probably enforce that. There we go. Not quite. Let's drop a little bit of money. How about just one more province? Or one less province. Jeez, I don't know. went into battle with low morale, Aragon. That's a, that's a rookie move. That is a massive mistake there. You no longer even have an army now. I'd say that's a bit of a you problem there, bud. Let's take all of your money and just leave. Anything else I could do? Uh, not really much. I don't want you to lose Naples, of course. I don't really want any of your land. Maybe an island? No, I'm joking. I, I don't really want any of your land. There's a Statistically high chance I'm going to get it in the PU anyway, so just statistically speaking, I think we, we should be okay. Thank you for your land. I don't want you to die so hard that you have massive issues. I just want my money back. There we go. Now we're already on, uh, I think, military focus, which is good. We're going to want to swap to um, something else soon. Oh, Castilian Civil War. Hmm, stability less than one. Well, I suppose we could bump that up. Sorry, I don't know why I was looking in all the wrong places. I'm um, sure. Bump it up to one stability. Make that go down a little bit slower. Uh, I guess... I don't really know what triggered it, but at this point, there's no way for us to get out of this. We're, we're going to be in the Civil War no matter what. And with the manpower we have, that's just really unfortunate. Uh, let's let's raise some additional levies. They're gonna be upset for a little while, but we need them. We need the manpower to recover. Let's drop the forts until just before the uh, the disaster fires. It's gonna f uh, it's kind of gonna fire in a little while, so hopefully everything turns out just fine. Not really sure. Uh, all right, you can send you guys back out to keep on keep on trade protecting. Just over there. There you go. You guys should group up. Fantastic. All right. So, this is an interesting turn of events. We ended up, first of all, fighting Aragon, of all people. Kind of weird. I wanted to be better friends with Aragon. But I guess the, the, or, the RNG roll of the dice said, no, you're not doing that today. You're getting a personal union over Navarra, of all nations. It's a little bit odd. Mm, still don't know how to feel about this, but the camera's rolling, the dice are rolling, and it's time to just keep on playing, I guess. Hopefully things go the way they, uh, they intend. We can ask for a bit more money, but the burgers have lost some influence, making it a little bit less than normal. Oh boy. Uh, alright. There's no way for us to increase this, so... I'll take the money, I suppose. As for buildings, we can't really spend it on anything, which is a shame. I suppose if we do need to go to war, or says we are going to have this looming disaster, it's going to be in a while, but it's going to be there, maybe. Or, we could always disinherit Enrique. That is, that's an option. It's a potential thing we could do. I know the Civil War gives you the chance... Uh, I think it gives you the chance to bring yourself closer to, to Aragon, actually. Which will allow you to get a female heir, and said female heir will allow you to get 
the personal union in the Iberian wedding. At least I believe so, if I remember correctly. If my if, if I if I remember 100% right, I think that's what's going to happen here. You get the uh, option, which says, bring ourselves closer to Aragon. And bringing yourself closer to Aragon, I believe, gives you a female heir. Maybe. I don't know if it's a female heir or if it's just an heir in general. There was one time that I got a, uh, a 666 female heir out of uh, out of that event, the Castilian Civil War, actually. And she was, uh, she was a female heir, obviously. And so when she became queen... Pretty instantly, the Iberian wedding happened, so I got I got Aragon and I got Naples um, inside of the personal union. Literally right after I just got a 666 queen, so that was actually a lot of fun. That was a great time. So, I'm kind of inclined to allow this to continue going on. Maybe I shouldn't have raised this ability. It, does it decrease your stability by 2? I believe it does. Maybe it sets it down to negative 2, and in which case it would be even worse for us. That would kind of suck, to be honest with you. Uh, let's also grab our claims on Portugal. I'd like to grab claims on uh, Beiras, like the top half here. Just to make ourselves state efficient. Alright, I can get claims on all of this, I forgot. Well, we can't get another claim there for a while. Let's get a claim on, I don't know, some part of Aragon, just because we can. Other than that, we don't need this. Let's also start getting claims on Morocco. The claims on uh, Granada will, by themselves, eventually happen. However, unfortunate that uh, we already have the truce done with Granada. We can't even really invade them yet, which kind of sucks. Let's grab that. Because our manpower is a little bit too low here, which makes life hard. Makes life a little bit difficult. I see the classic splitting of Telemcin, or Telemkin, is happening. Oh, there we go. Tunis just took the first massive chunk. And then I'm assuming Morocco will take the rest. National manpower, national unrest, national tax, yes, definitely. We need the manpower. The manpower is important. Let's also decrease our maintenance there because they no longer need to be reinforced. Enrique, I think I will have you uh, drilling a single troop. There's a statistically higher chance of a general dying once they're uh, drilling or doing something other than just being assigned. Being assigned to an army has a chance to, of killing them. Having them drilling has a slightly higher chance of killing them, if I remember correctly. And we really just want this guy to die. We really, really just want him to die. Our king isn't technically supposed to die or have a... Oh, there's my timer. <laughs> or have a good chance of dying until roughly the age of 49, I think, is where his 50% chance starts to hit a pretty good peak. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what really goes on here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we gain some good progress in the next few episodes to come. Today was a really, really odd beginning, but I'm interested to see where we uh, end up going with this very odd Castile campaign that we started off with. Anyways, that was the timer telling me time is up. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day.